Greetings once again, Defenders of the Realm. Doosday's Din, back again with another episode of the Dragon Prince, Mysteries of Aravon, where previously, Viren continues to be in the depths of a massive slumber that reveals certain elements of his path, namely why he started to use dark magic in the first place to save his son Soren when he was very young and sickly. Unfortunately, Viren starts to realize, and so maybe he already realized it, that his use of dark magic as a ends justify the means kind of situation has had all too dark an influence on his daughter, who uses dark magic with more and more reckless abandon than he ever did, with his dream showing him that she will go further with it and sink deeper into it than he, than he ever would. Something that begins to scare him, and a discussion with his younger self seems to hint at him going in a different direction before it is truly too late for those he loves. Meanwhile, as Claudia and Terry make their way down the river, the waves get rough and bumpy, and Claudia has to save her father from drowning, and thankfully he does ultimately wake up. Although, whether it's the same Virian she hoped he'd be is another story. At that same time, Claudia, I mean Caleb and Rayla make their way to Zadia, where they're very taken aback by the fact that Amaya and Janai are planning their wedding. Apparently they never got the memo, but when they talk about going to the great bookery of Luxoria, Janai forbades it, mostly because of the incredible danger that now lurks within Luxoria. The changes and harm and damage that Viren had done had actually been long-lasting and long-standing. Those who were made into monsters continue to be monsters and create even more monsters as a result, so she could not in good faith send anyone there with her blessing. But Amaya, knowing Kalem all too well, knows he's going there anyway, and Janai knows that Amaya's going to go with Caleb, and so she sees them all, hopefully not to the doom of her fiancé, especially after she just managed to pick out the flowers for their wedding. So what'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Book 5, Ocean. Chapter 4, The Great Bookery. Oh, that's an intense look. Oh, okay. Did we see these parts of Luxoria? Huh, they look very still painting and not interactable with CGI models. I'm just saying. Okay, now they feel a little bit more interactable. Yeah, no wonder nobody wants to live here. Caleb, disrespectful, bruh. Oh, it was the corruption of the sun or... You know, all things considered, it almost feels like Erevos has it out more for the Sunfire Elves than anyone else. Oh, oh, that's what attacked them. <clears throat> but that made it a long ways out from this area. Mm. A scratch spreads the corruption. Wait, no one on Caleb's team was scratched, right? Oh, they avoid the sun. I feel like you maybe should have left earlier if they don't come out during the day. <sighs> Did this always look like this, or is nature already reclaiming it? Because it hasn't been that long. Yeah, okay. Very majestic. Gushing a little too much. Book return. Oh, <laughs> Kazi, I need you to calm it down a little bit. Had to look up their names. <laughs> Wild and crazy. Yeah, straight up. Time for you nerds to go to work. Oh, some kind of exiled settlement? Hmm. Okay, very interesting looking place. That sounds like a dragon. It is a dragon. Sol Regem, the former king of the dragon. And the character? That I thought was going to be like the mainstay, but not so much. Why seek him out? I mean, he is the sun dragon, so it makes some kind of sense. You didn't explain to them what you were looking for? How to kill a star touch out. Oh, Kazi knows everything about this place, or so they say, so. Oh, oh. Trying to kind of make amends for previous discrimination. <laughs> it's not like she's not been threatened by current enemies, I mean, current allies before, so. Shoot, even her old people have threatened her and exiled her, so Rayla's got a use to it by now. No. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, yes, I am sorry for threatening to kill you before. See, okay, now that we buried the hatchet on that, now I'm threatening to kill you if you harm Caleb. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I kind of love that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that. Because, hold on, if I could just catch it for a moment. Like, she looks so meek in this moment, like really trying her best to convey how sorry she truly is for that, you know, show of prejudice. And then it's like she grows five feet. 
<laughs> like suddenly the size difference between her and Rayla looks so much bigger than it did before. <laughs> Just looming over her. <laughs> I love that. That is so good. Okay, I really don't like this. What's the plan here? Oh, Soul Regent's prejudice against humanity. <sighs> of course. Man, I didn't actually think that was gonna actually come back. I'm actually kind of glad it did. <sighs> He knows how to talk a big game. True king, huh? Oh boy, that could be bad. That could be really bad. See, I was wondering, because I'm like, Kareem on his own, or even with a few allies from the Sunfire Elves, he ain't gonna really do much or be much of anything, but this? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> Using bait as a placeholder. A poem. The death of the immortal. Huh. Okay. Talking things out at the very least. <laughs> I feel like Amaya is just like, oh, you're just as hard-headed as I am. <laughs> there it is. See, I'm just like, yep, yep. There it is. Like, the <laughs> real is, it's like I had to be strong alone. I had to do it without him. It's just like, oof. <laughs> Amaya's gonna relate to that hard. Hmm. Oh. It's interesting getting a little bit more about the relationship between Amaya and her sister. Because we really don't know much about Caleb's mother. Or even who his father was. I mean, Harold was his stepfather and he and Ezra are half-brothers. Not saying it matters too, too much. I do feel like one of the shortcomings of this series is that there's so much going on, you're never really given a chance to truly explore certain characters as much as I feel like you really should. Uh, seems like Amaya and Rayla are the best people to actually talk to each other. Huh. Uh, it's not just enough to love someone, you also have to trust them. Which can be hard sometimes, but opening yourself up to someone can really take a big weight off your shoulders and make it a lot easier to do a lot more. Go a lot further than you ever could by yourself sometimes. Because it makes it easier to deal with the harder time. I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of cute moments. I will admit, I kind of miss the simpler times of the p first three seasons. Just because we stuck so hard to our main character. I'm not saying I hate the previous season and this one. It's just that there's so much going on now. I feel like we lost a little bit of the simpler adventure. <laughs> and I will admit, when they first started showing signs that they were interested in each other, I wasn't sure what to think, but man, yeah, I'll be damned if this show didn't actually help me like fully buy into the relationship hug hug yes there you go oh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah he's just like man, there ain't nothing regal about me man i'm old i'm dying and you're interrupting my dying get out melted by evil magic oh right oh wait could he even gee that's actually kind of sad <laughs> I mean, I don't want him and Kareem to form an alliance, but at the same time, I'm like, oof, that's that's rough, man. <laughs> like that, that's kind of rough. That's that's actually kind of sad. I mean, if he could restore his sight somehow, <sighs> and I really don't want Kareem to succeed, but <sighs> and Soul Re Soul Regum's kind of a jerk. But at the same time, I'm like, is there some way to restore him to his former glory? <laughs> Like, my empath empathy is overriding my reason right now. And die. Lorellen. Uh, when someone is no more, doesn't always mean dead. It, it can mean a lot of things. Huh. Did they write it like this to get around uh, the spells that Aravos had put on the information about the Star Touch elves? Yeah, there's something more to it. Ivory Dratronic brought bite death's bite known forth as nova a sword made from the horn of a dragon ivory draconic a specialized weapon huh yep you, you found the answer but you haven't found the instrument where is it yep nerd power oh my god is he doing the carlton dance uh oh never want to hear that you need to talk again guys sundown on a timetable you, you you really need to speed this up. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I get it. You're trying to have heart to hearts and charming moments, and it's all very cute. But at the same time, you know, deadly corrupted creatures coming out at night that that would kind of make me want to beat feet. Y'all already got a taste of that before. I wouldn't want to get a taste of it again. Cause let's be honest, out of all the characters who feel like they could be disposable in this, I'm kind of waiting for something bad to happen to Kazi. Ah, oh, she's kind of there we go. Yeah. This, this, actually, I've been waiting for this because it's like she keeps keeping all this a secret, and it's just like, Rayla, 
What you doing, girl? You know Caleb well enough that he'd actually want to help you with this in any way he could. And the realization that this is the best place to learn about how to free everyone from the coins. Oh my god, we're gonna stay here much longer than we need to. Is Kazuki's dropping? Oh, do anything for you. <sighs> here it is. Uh, she didn't want to get in the way what the, with of what they're already trying to do. From that perspective, I get it, but that's a big weight to be carrying, girl. See, I was wondering, because I'm just like, okay, you can free their spirits, but I'm pretty sure their bodies no longer exist. Oh, is this how we get back King Harrow? Because I swear to God, Viren put Harrow's spirit in that bird, but we haven't seen that bird in a long time. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. Oh, we're screwed. No, he's got an idea. Restore sight to Sil Regim. Yeah. How? How would you do it, though? How could you possibly heal his eyes? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I feel like you should move the horse inside. Yep, and we're leaving. Take the book with you. There you go. Or at least take a page. <laughs> Talk less! Move more! Quasar Diamond, Star Scraper. Oh, hey, conveniently enough, we need to go to the same place as the Nova Blade. The Star Scraper. I love that name. That is immensely convenient. All contained maybe within the same book he was already looking in? Weird. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little too convenient. Or maybe it was in another book that he was already looking through? He, he did say he saw something. Huh. Monsters. Oh, and the horse is already dead. That is not great. You might want to hunker down. Also, what happened to Rayla's... Whatchamacallit? Oh, God. Uh, where's that growling coming from? Oh, well, that's not great. Amaya? You that? Yeah. Oh, God, there's a pack of them. I didn't take them for pack animals. Oh, the book storage. I don't think all of them could fit in there, though. Oh, boy. Oh, I feel feel like one of them's gonna scratch a eye or something. Like, I really don't see you guys getting out without at least a scratch. Uh, Aspera Frigis. Ah, nice. Well, Amaya is the most heavily armored, and I forgot how good she is in combat. Damn. Huh. The corruption's only emanating off of them when they're alive. Interesting. Yeah, arrows don't seem to really be working out like that great. There you go. Nice. Okay. You managed to take two down. Oh god, the blade! Uh, uh, ah, nice one. Whew. Oh, that's one of those specialty arrows. I was about to say, arrows have not been working before. Ventum Angulus. Oh, changes the tra trajectory. Ooh, the eye! Grish! And let me guess, she's been scratched. No? Okay, we're good. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ! Why are there so many of them? Okay, yeah, nah, bail. Bail, 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 bail. God! Amaya? I'll be honest, sometimes I forget that Amaya is deaf. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> <sighs> no. But how did they get out of this? Oh, boy. Uh, dragon? That's not Zubea? Jesus! But how? Why? How did she know to come and say- Oh, damn! God damn! Jesus! <laughs> All the action you can handle at the library! <laughs> oh, that's great! Wait, were they always headed here? I, am, am, I, am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm forgetting something. You left bait! How did you leave bait? Oh, God. Oh, come on! You keep- Barely managing to save everyone. Oh god. Ah, oh, did she leave the sword? Oh god. <laughs> so majestic. Nice. What an arm. Oh god. Oh my god. Do not. Do not. Don't do this. Oh, she spoke. Oh. Huh. Oh. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> okay, now we fully have to. Really? <sighs> Corvus, no. Okay, hide in the book drop. Hide in the book drop. For the love of God, hide in the book drop. Oh, don't say that. I'm actually gonna get pissed if they die. Hide in the friggin' book drop, for the love of God. <sighs> and now Zabay is infected. Oh my God, I hate this place. Yep, there you go. <sighs> I hate this. <sighs> <laughs> See, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, man, Amaya's throw, man, worthy of a football player. Oh, thank God, credits, because I'm getting freaking emotional. <laughs> uh, oh, we're definitely going to find a way to heal Soul Regim, but now Sube is infected. Oh, Final Battle's going to be tense. Oh, man, Final Battle's going to be tense. And they even, uh, they even made Amaya sound death because she wouldn't fully know how to 
vocalize because you know she's she's deaf and so she wouldn't really know how to fully vocalize certain things she'd know how to sound it out the sure that <laughs> that that one caught me off guard like that shook me to my goddamn core i wasn't ready for that the star scraper huh <laughs> ah kazi you little nerd though i am gra glad that kazi and graham got out of there because if anyone was gonna die it was probably gonna be them if they stayed <laughs> really go hot cats kazi i swear to god what a nerd who the heck is that was that one of the statues in the bookery huh i wonder if there's significance behind that dang <sighs> someone had to get bit i'm actually kind of shocked that it was a bea but she was way too big of a target not to but <sighs> That really does suck, because Zubeya has gotten our team out of the most dangerous situation. Uh, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That's not good. That is not good. So will it fall on Zim to defend the throne? <sighs> Uh, we gotta find a way to undo the corruption. That's that's a big thing now too. Have to hope maybe you know everything lies in the star spire, so maybe a cure for Zubeya lies there too. Oh boy. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Deez Diz Din, and I hope to see you later. Till then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>